We're not afraid. We're not cowards. Amen. Got an email yesterday, and the sodomite said, I saw you, and if you hadn't had them men behind you, you know what would have happened. But you ain't gonna always have them behind you. But who's behind them? That's right. Maybe it's somebody you can't see. Amen. But you were there. You were supposed to drown this out. Mm -hmm. right. What happened? Amen. God said, hush. That's right. Hush your mouth. Yeah. Don't open it. Hallelujah. I serve in speaking. Don't open your mouth. Hallelujah. My choir singing, don't open your mouth. Hallelujah. Praise God. And they couldn't open their mouth. If it was there. Man. Praise God. They were so they were so dark sound. You, you, you didn't know they was there. Yeah. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Daniel went the lions then. God set them lions across the mouth and said, lay down. Yeah. They were slowing out their mouth. Yeah. Don't you open your mouth. Don't even growl. Yeah. Yeah. Preacher said, Daniel laid down, and the lion came up and laid down beside him. And they both went to sleep. Yeah. Power of God. Yeah. It's stronger than the power of Satan. Yeah. We don't fear anything that the people can bring against us. Right. Right. Amen. To that coward dement. Yeah. They're getting ready to raise you up and place you on a high pedestal in the Republican new form uh, Congress that's getting ready to go forward. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't speak with me. Yes. You wouldn't come to the rally in Atlanta. And you probably won't come to the rally in Charlotte. But don't hide behind your accolades. Yes. Because they are simply man-made. That's right, right. And what man makes deteriorates. Yeah. It's right. torn down. Yes. It fades away. But what God makes stands forever. Yeah. Hallelujah. Good. That's why you can't bring me down. Yeah. That's why you never have to do with me. You better try to meet with me. And try to get in one accord of me. Praise yeah. God. You need to come to me this time. I'm not going to you another time. Amen. Verse 27. Our princes in the midst thereof are like wolves ready in the prey to shed blood and to destroy souls to get dishonest gain. Dishonest gain. Uh, if you would put the money together of Eddie Long and T.D. Jakes, Amen. you're talking about some serious money. How did they accumulate this money from robbing God's people, yes. taking tithes and offerings, mm -hmm. and then invest it in their own personal? Yes. Someone said today that uh, uh, don't bother Eddie Long because he doesn't have a church, he has a corporation. Mm -hmm. How did he get to, to have a corporation? Amen. He took the nonprofit tithes and money that people gave him to invest it in a corporation. Clever, yes, clever. But how are you going to outsmart God when you stand for the judgment seat? How are you going to take all that money with you when God say, it's time for you to come in now? What are you going to tell the death angel when he knocks on your door? It, 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 excuse me? They, they don't take bribes. And you can't buy your way out of that. If you take a line, ask Michael Jackson. See how, you can, see how you can buy your way out when God said enough's enough. I'm tired of it. Come on in now to judgment. Yes. Better listen to me. Amen. For Christians in the midst thereof are like wolves. Raising the prey to shed blood and to destroy souls to get to sign the game. And our prophets have dogged them with untempered water. I, I heard not too long ago that uh, T.D. Jakes when he goes to Africa along with Joyce Miles. They take money from those people. <laughs> and those people starve them to death. That's right. They are so greedy. When they go to a third world country where the people are starving for the word of God, they go there with the intent on purpose to rob them. How much money does it take to satisfy a demon? Amen. Yeah, you know that's just my God, my God. Hallelujah. Everything they do in the ministry is about one thing. A dollar bill. Yeah. And people who go to churches like T.D. Jakes, Father Joyce Myers, uh, Eddie Long, 
Why don't you take a close look at yourself? Why don't you pray to God for divine understanding? If you pray, God will give you divine understanding. You know what he'll do? He'll let you turn on the internet and see Prophet Walker. And you go, it's an accident. No, it's not an accident. And no glory to me. But all glory go to the Lord Jesus Christ. The God of glory. Have to understand what is taking place. They are robbing the people by the basketful of hundred dollar bills and making themselves wealthy and putting themselves in a position and they got sharp attorneys. Oh, they got accountants. They know how to maneuver this way, maneuver that way. All millionaires do. That's why millionaires are millionaires and we still struggling. We still pulling the plow. While they sit in the shade tree and find the money. But foolish people always are going to be exploited. That's why God says a prophet to the people to lead you. Open up your understanding. Why won't you listen to me? Amen. Praise God. Uh, verse 29. The people of the land have used oppression and exercised robbery. Have they exercised robbery? <laughs> Praise God. Mm. Is that Bible? Right. Go. Verse 30. And I saw four men among them that should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land that I should now, not destroy. God told the prophet, I looked for somebody who could help these people out of this condition. But I couldn't find none. Amen. Anytime the people gravitate to a sinful lifestyle, mm -hmm. God hides himself from the people. Amen. How does the scripture go? For a long time, Israel was without the true God, yeah. without a teaching priest. Yeah. But when they, in their trouble, did turn to the Lord, he was heard of them. Yeah. Yeah. America, you better wake up and turn back to God. And the only way you can turn back to God, you've got to first stop this madness, this sodomite lesbian movement that is destroying and corrupting everything that's decent and normal. You got to stop it. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. God. Stop being afraid of this movement. Amen. Yes. Praise God. They are normal just like, well, they are beings like you. Amen. Not normal, but they are beings like you. Praise God. They can get knocked down. That's right, bitch. Just like right. somebody else can get knocked down. Amen. But you got to have some backbone to stand up against it and not a politician. And I said, after the event, with uh, Senator DeMint, I guess he's a senator, a uh, congressman, senator. senator. After that episode we had last week with him, and him not wanting to meet with us, hmm. I, you know, I said it before, now I'm going to reiterate it. I would never vote for a politician as long as I have breath in my body. Right, right, right. Another politician will I vote for. Amen. Right, and I respect the right. Tea Party representative that came, and we'll do anything we can to help them. But as far as me voting for one of them, that was not on your life. Amen. Because it means nothing but a waste of time. Not that it was giving people a uh, basket full of thousand dollar bills. I would tell you, yeah, go, go, go. Put whatever level they take to vote. And they take your basket full of money home because that's what they're doing to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Let's turn it around a little bit sometimes. Praise God. That's right, bitch. All right. Go to T.D. Jake. She said, T.D. Jake, I'm losing my home. Can I have about uh, $25,000? She would tell you. Oh, well, now, we already gave up the benevolent offering. But you got it. Sell my number of mm -hmm. And you still got a Mercedes left. Yes. You ain't without wheels. Yes. You know why they won't? So, but they, how many members they got? 30,000? Yes. Suppose 15,000 got in line next Sunday and said, I'm about to lose my home. Well, when he look around, he might not have that mansion no more. He might not have that little jet. He might not have it. Oh, hallelujah. Maybe he ought to get one of them nine to five jobs and start robbing people. Because when the people get enough and start coming back on you, what about the money that I gave you? And I'm saying to all the people that go to them churches, you ought to lay down in the aisle and refuse to let them con artists come and embrace the poor kids. You ought to stop it. Praise God. And to call the police, Stand outside if they put you out and take some stones and throw it out the window. Yeah. They say, why are you breaking out the window? Stay out of the window. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.